guys, my name is Brian Fleming with BuildingSocialProof.com and today we're going to talk about Facebook remarketing and specifically how does Facebook retargeting work. So let's get started. Now, if you are using Facebook ads to grow your business, then Facebook's ad retargeting is really a must. It's one of the most cost effective ways to get results from your Facebook ads campaign. In this video, I will show you how it all works and how to set it up. And one really cool thing you can do with your new retargeting audience. So let's get started. So what is Facebook ad retargeting? Well, Facebook's ad retargeting is a way to show your ads on Facebook to people who have already visited your site. Now, why would you even want to do this? Well, let's say someone was ready to buy a new bike from your online bike store. They got to your checkout page and they just got distracted. Maybe the phone rang. Maybe their kids needed help with something. You would really be shocked to see how often this happens. Well, with Facebook's retargeting, you would know that they were on the bike checkout page. You can then show them an ad for the bike and get them back over to the checkout page to buy it. You are not targeting a lot of people, but your engagement will be sky high because all those people are very interested in the bike. And Facebook gives you a great ad rate because your ad is so incredibly targeted. And here's a graphic example. So in step one, on the, uh, on the left, we see an internet user. And in step two, they visit your site. Step three, they leave your site. They got distracted. In step four, they see your retargeting ad on Facebook. Step five, your ad re, uh, your retargeting ad captures their interest. And at step six, they come over to your site and convert into a loyal customer. So this is just a graphical example of what I just explained to you. Now, how does Facebook's retargeting work? Well, so how does all this black magic happen? Well, Facebook generates you a simple code snippet to put on your site. When someone visits a page with Facebook's retargeting code snippet on it, they get a tracking cookie put on their web browser from Facebook. And it's really important to know that it's not you putting this tracking cookie on it, it's Facebook. That's why you have to put their code on your site. Now, later when they return to Facebook, that tracking cookie gets found and Facebook shows your ad. It's really pretty simple. So here's how to set up retargeting. Now, setting up retargeting is fairly easy to do. A lot of people, maybe even you, get a little freaked out because you have to generate some Facebook tracking code, then put it on your site. I am gonna walk you through it now so it doesn't freak you out. Okay, first thing to do is head on over to facebook.com slash ads slash audience underscore manager. And as I go through these next few slides, if you want to pause the video, feel free to do so to write this URL down. And I might have some screenshots coming up that you're going to want to um, uh, maybe pause the video and look at too. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you go to that page is just pick uh, create a custom audience just like in this picture here. Next, you're gonna pick website traffic. They give you a few different options. You're just gonna pick the one that says website traffic. Next, you're gonna leave it uh, set to anyone who visits your website and just give your audience a name, like just call it website visitors or something. It really doesn't matter. Next, you're gonna press the cog on the bottom on the lower left. And that little symbol is called a cog. I didn't know that for a long time, but that's what it's called. So you press the cog and now you have your Facebook uh, tracking code. Don't get freaked out about this. It's just some computer code and it works. It just does what Facebook needs it to do. Don't think any further into it than that. Just um, copy it and paste it into your browser's clipboard. Pretty simple. Okay, now how to add Facebook's tracking code to a standard website. So if you use a regular website, not WordPress, just a regular old website, then you just need to open up the page's HTML and paste the code right below the head tag. Now, a head tag is just something on the page that looks exactly like that. It's the word head with a greater than and less than sign around it, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. Every page should have one, one of these head tags. And here's an example. So, 
This might look a little intimidating, but it's just the homepage for buildingsocialproof.com. And you can see if I open this and I look on line number nine, I see my head tag. So anywhere around line 10, 11, or 12, if I just paste the Facebook code that they generated, I copied into my web browser clipboard, it'll be fine. Just paste it right in there and you are all set. So here's how to add Facebook's tracking code to WordPress. Now, if you use WordPress, it's the same idea, and I suspect a lot of you watching this video do use WordPress. So, you just have to do these steps to get to the header file of your WordPress theme. So, here's how you do it. First, you go into WordPress, you sign into the back end, and then you press uh, select appearance, and then you have a dropout menu, and then just select editor. Pretty simple. Now, find the link that says header. Every WordPress theme has one, so you should be able to find it. And here's what it looks like. So after you pressed editor, you're gonna see a bunch of um, basically pages to your theme in your uh, WordPress admin panel. And you're gonna look on the uh, right hand side and go down and look for the one that says header. It will be there. Uh, I've put an arrow to it on my theme so you can see kind of what it looks like. Finally, just like we did before, find the head tag and paste the Facebook code right below it. So if I pick my header file in WordPress, I see it also has a head tag just like we saw before. And I'm just gonna paste my Facebook code right below it and then press the update button. And that's all there is to it. Really, really pretty simple stuff. It shouldn't be a big problem for you. Now, here is one really cool retargeting trick. One of the best retargeting tricks you can do is use your website's visitor audience, your retargeting audience, to generate a new lookalike audience. With a lookalike audience, Facebook will look at all your website visitors and see what they have in common. Maybe they all like a certain TV show. Maybe they all like a brand of car. The amazing part is Facebook finds out what is common between all these people at a much more detailed level than you or I ever could. Next, they take your audience and what they have in common and then just apply it to everyone on Facebook. Facebook finds you the top 1% of everyone on Facebook that matches your audience. Truly amazing stuff. Just love it. Now, obviously, someone in the top 1% that matches people already visiting your website will be a better fit than just anyone off the street. So you can use this new lookalike audience to get much more targeted ads than without it. So make sure you use a lookalike audience after you have 100 visitors through your remarketing campaign. If you look under your custom audiences, Facebook will show you this. Facebook's retargeting is extremely powerful and should be the starting point of your Facebook ads campaign. And remember I said starting point, so you want to start with retargeting and then grow out. If you want more tips like this, head on over to buildingsocialproof.com where I show you how to create your own social media marketing strategy in seven days or less. My name is Brian Fleming and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.